Yeah, 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 you all wrote, you already know it's the Galactic Mon Illinois L. We back cracking spells. Shout out to all the Galactic Guardians, 720 degrees. Shout out to the whole URO. Everybody living in the universal right order. Shout out to the House of Consciousness, House of Consciousness, Connecticut chapter. This message being brought to you by Core TV. Kingdom of Righteousness TV. The show is called Wake Up Sheep. Oh, y'all already know how I do. We about to jump right into the demonstration. I say to all the great prophets, ancestors, aiders, messiahs, messengers who came before making this platform available so we could be here today giving you the message. I say, jumping right into this demo on this Black Money Mondays. Y'all know how we do. You know what I'm saying? The moon day and all that. So we're going to deal with the wisdom and be wise and talk about it from an Orsetian perspective. You know, dealing with the feminine minded energy, the black woman. Uh, you know, that feminine is what we're going to talk about because we're going to deal with the supreme math. Supreme math is 8, 19, 20, 24. You do the math to that, you're going to come up with wisdom equality. You heard? The wisest woman becomes my op, the six, you heard? And what that do, that cause, you know, two plus six is eight. So we building, destroying and rebuilding. You know what I'm saying? The way we think about things on this Black Money Monday. So the, the, one, the name of this demo is called Spiritual Inheritance. Spiritual Inheritance. So overstand black woman, you know, the feminine, my feminine. Remember that nine stands for the nine ether in you. You know what I'm saying? So you have a spiritual inheritance that uh, is priceless. You have a priceless value on you that is no value. It's worth everything. You know what I'm saying? Because you are the one that's closestly connected to the source on the planet. Hats off to you. But you got to know that, though, and you got to respect it. If you don't respect it, then how can we respect it? You dig what I'm saying? So as a black woman, we talking about your mind. We ain't talking about your body and how you look and all that. Even though your physical makeup and component possess things that other women and other people don't have. Because we all come through the womb of a black woman, which is the heaven. Heaven is between the legs of the black woman. You know what I'm saying? So that spiritual inheritance get passed on. Like I said, you know, um, if we have any... Real astronomical sight or We're using astronomical sight to see life With astronomical sight And you can see that uh, The celestial bodies uh, You know, are making changes The heavens are changing right before our eyes And different things And with these alignments These planetary alignments and things like that You know, gases be getting emitted And we end up inhaling and breathing in These gases These non-ether gases That change the structure of our DNA Now when DNA is mutated Overstand you know, proteins, certain proteins basically heal DNA, repair, repairs your DNA, corrects things. So when planets move around and things move around and then they line certain gases and you breathe certain shit, that shit go into DNA and it corrects things. So DNA is like a certain language, you know what I'm saying? It's the language of God, basically, when you think about DNA. It's like the language of God. So... Seeing things with astronomical sight, you know, these planets, like I said, these planets move around. We breathe in the gases. The DNA structure changes. Like I said, proteins come in, they repair it, they correct the DNA. Um, that's why you see at this information age, uh, most of us all have a new mind. We have a new mind. We're not caught up in 20 years ago thoughts, how high body was drowned out in religion and all that spookism shit. People have a new way of looking at this whole fucking spectrum of life. There's been so much fraud with this and this nigga fake and that and this. this. People look at the, the world different. We don't look at that shit how we looked at it 20 years, 40 years ago and 50 years ago. It's a new way of looking at things. Even when we still carry on concepts like God and shit, we still look at that shit different now. We don't even look at that shit the same how we used to look at it. Right. So there's been changes to correct things. Right. So overstand. Um, what is inheritance? You know what I'm saying? What is inheritance is the quality or characteristics genetically, you know what I'm saying, from one's parents or ancestors. Now, when you talk about ancestors, you're going back 76 trillion years of information because DNA is blood and blood is information. So some people might not be able to fathom other our story, right? Because our story might go back 76 trillion. 
And I might still have some of that shit trickling in me, what y'all call it, junk DNA and all that shit is my ancestors and all of that. That 90% of the brain that we not tapping into and all of that is where my ancestors and all of them is at. You heard? So, overstand, right? Um, it could be, uh, inheritance could be, you know, money received, property, or a title. So, when you break the word down, inheritance with royal slicing the first word the root word of it is inherit but it's in her it in her is it basically that's what i'm saying it's where it lies the true power lies within the black woman that's walking the planet shout out to henrietta lax immortal cells you heard so the power of the black woman like i said the all set in you is you know what i'm saying well you got the throne you really got the throne. All set is in the throne, the moon. Like I said, we're talking about the wisdom body and all of that. So we're dealing with the woman on this Black Money Moon Day. And we want to talk about inheritance, spiritual inheritance, and the things that she's inherited. And what she's passing on. She's passing on the inheritance as we, you know what I'm saying, get born. But what I'm saying is quintessence. The Greek word coming from the Greek shit and all of that. Right? So we're talking about the structure of the universe. You know what I'm saying? Nature of physical laws. Physical laws, right? So they're talking about the elements. The L emits. L, the electricity. Remember, again, once again, that L is the most high. So we're talking about that form of light. But the water, the air, the land, the earth, or whatever, and the fire, and all of that, those elements, along with the quintessence, that was the fifth one. Right. That's what we call it. Right. Quintessence is whatever they call it. The pure, high concentrated essence of a thing, the pure, high concentrated essence of a thing. Basically, you know, what I'm saying the most perfect embodiment of something, the most perfect embodiment of something. Feminine, 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 the nine ether gases. You have the most perfect embodiment of something in you. You feel me? Because quintessence goes back to ether with Aristotle, you know what I'm saying? Well, he brought that out to the white. I'm just giving y'all the white people aspect of it because y'all understand them more. If I go too deep with the nigga shit, y'all gonna be like, he making this up. So I like to give y'all the white people aspect, right? The lower, the lower mysteries. So, you know, uh, quintessence is, you know what I'm saying? Is a Greek, you know, we coming from the Greek aspect. So, it'd be that fifth element, that ether really. You know what I'm saying? The etheric realm. And the black woman is the most spiritual person on the, on the planet. She possessed the nine ether. Is what I'm basically saying. Y'all have the closest connection to that invisibility. Right? Because what they saying, the scientists are saying, now this is scientists, we gonna, you know what I mean? Scientists are saying that it's dark matter. Invisible dark matter and invisible dark energy. These are two separate things. Dark energy and dark matter. Along with phantom energy so they saying it's like something holding this shit together that they can't see and it's called dark matter to them you feel me the dark matter so over saying you possess you have the closest connection to that dark matter you could pull shit from the ethers and make it happen if you get your mind right and get your mind off a bag and get your mind off your swag and all this other shit that y'all on if y'all get focused and think about the future which is the seeds and the babies and you know running a, a true natural government again and turn it back matriarchal we could get there but for right now you know the mind you got to get the mind right so that dark matter and that dark energy and that phantom energy will be considered what y'all call the Holy Ghost for y'all, you know, religious folks and ones want to go back into the Bibles and all of that because I don't know a lot of y'all connected to that. So that Holy Spirit, that Holy Ghost energy is the thing that's holding all this shit together. That's making changes as we can't see it make the changes, though. You see what I'm saying? This dark matter exists. The laws of invisibility. How can we prove that shit is real? We breathe in air and we can't see the fucking air. I got thoughts in my head that y'all can't fucking see, but they there. That's how you know invisibility is real. You dig? You could blow a dog whistle. You see what I'm saying? Dogs hear shit on other frequencies. So there's things here that we can't see or hear or whatever, but this round, nigga, is popping. You see what I'm saying? So... Overstand what synchronicity mean. 
Synchronicity means coincidence with a purpose. Synchronicity means basically coincidence with a purpose. So when we say that the Bible is some bullshit, then it's a purpose behind us even getting under these ghost spells and all that so we can break the spells and see it for what it's worth, ETC and all of that. But you ain't going to find that till you sit in the dark and meditate and, 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 and catch that black light. Catch that new bright idea. You got to meditate upon things to get that new idea. So sit in the dark, sit still, you feel me? Symbolic, this symbolic talk, but overstand all this symbolic. This is symbolic baptism, you know what I'm saying, of your consciousness, basically, through a form of meditation, you know what I'm saying? Through a form of meditation that's taking your brain to different levels of consciousness through the motherfucking earth, through the motherfucking water, through the motherfucking air, through the motherfucking fire, and through the motherfucking quintessence, you know what I'm saying, the etheric aspect of it, you know, the new mind. What they say in Christ mind, ETC, you know, Buddha, you know, the enlightened one, you know, Krishna, shit like that. You become that entity when you reach that state, tapping into the ether. So no use possess the most spiritual inheritance. Spirit mean breath. So we talking about breathing, you know, the gases, the planets are in line. You know what I'm saying? They have motherfucking so many scientific discoveries y'all didn't tap into and see all of the changes in the heavens. You know what I'm saying? That's in your favor. That's actually in your favor. If you just tap in and look at it and it line up with that Bible shit that y'all be all tapped into and all that. Y'all just gotta go line it up. You know what I'm saying? So overstand blood is information. Information is DNA. Your spiritual inheritance and what you possess, that mitochondria and that you got, ma, is the most valuable on the planet. You know what I'm saying? Shout out, like I said, to Immortal Cells of Henrietta Lacks. You know what I'm saying? The black woman is back. Y'all stand on your ten toes down, above ground. Y'all got the crown. Y'all sitting in the throne. Hold your own. It's been another galactic glorious day. Y'all travel in harmony on this Black Money Moon Day. Peace.